With The Witch, writer-director Robert Eggers proved his prowess in the folk horror genre. And with The Lighthouse, he proves he's an absolute mad genius. Why did Robert Pattinson spill his beans? Stick around for my thoughts on The Lighthouse. Did you rub my lamp? Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome to Film Speak, where film is our second language. I'm Griffin, as always, and if film is your second language, consider hitting that subscribe button for more insightful and articulate film discourse and analysis. The Lighthouse is co-written and directed by Robert Eggers, and it stars Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Two lighthouse keepers try to maintain their sanity while living on a remote and mysterious New England island in the 1890s. So as I mentioned, at the top of my review, Robert Eggers is an absolute mad genius, and one of the reasons why is because I don't think I have really ever seen anything like The Lighthouse before in my life. You can't really categorize it in one particular genre. It has mixes of different sorts of mythologies going on here. It's very much steeped in nautical and sailor lore, but there are hints of Greek mythology in there as well. It's very Shakespearean, not only in terms of dialogue, but performances as well. It feels as though it could eventually become a stage play. And so perhaps the best way I can describe The Lighthouse House is a true acting masterclass for Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Both actors give tour de force performances here, and the best part is when you can see one of them giving a lot to the scene, it really pushes the other to give even more. And so you get into these exchanges where both actors are trying to outdo the other, and so they're being pushed by the intensity of the other actor's performance. It's truly riveting stuff to watch here, and perhaps the most important impressive performance out of the two is Willem Dafoe. I am not exaggerating when I say I believe this may in fact be one of Willem Dafoe's best performances to date. He is this briny, dirty old lighthouse keeper that feels as though he's a parody of a pirate. In fact, Robert Pattinson even makes fun of that in the movie. Not only is this an incredibly transformative role for Defoe physically, as his beard is dirty, he gets little bits of chicken all over the place, he's farting, he's smoking a pipe, but he's also given some of the most elaborate and long-winded pieces of dialogue in the entire film. Oh, and did I mention it's written in 19th century English? While all the monologues are scene-stealing, there's one in particular that allows Defoe to chewed the scenery to the fullest in what very well could be my favorite scene in the entire film. Defoe seriously needs to be in the conversation for best supporting actor for this film. But perhaps the most delicious part of The Lighthouse is Robert and Max Eggers incredible script. The two of them pen some of the saltiest Shakespearean dialogue I have ever seen put to film. It just completely immerses you in the world of this 18th century nautical town and truly allows the actors to flourish in the best possible way. There's a real authenticity to everything that's going on. A lot of that stems from the dialogue, but much of it stems from the production design, cinematography, and attention to detail Eggers had when telling this story. The film is shot on black and white 35 millimeter film, so there's already an inherent graininess to this film that gives it a more dirty feeling. But on top of that, the film was shot in Leif Erikson Park in Cape Fortune, which completely immerse the actors in this isolation, allowing them to go crazy in a more natural way. And that's what this film is. It's a descent into madness by two guys losing their sanity. Secrets are kept, guilt stirs inside of both these men, especially Robert Pattinson. The film also touches on themes of lust and possession. Now, I'm not going to begin to dive into this thing and tell you all the undertones that are going on here because it would just take far too long. But believe me when I say, each time I've seen this film, I've seen the film twice now, I got something new out of it. Sometimes it feels like two men letting jealousy get the best of them as they fight over a woman. And other times, it just feels like a classic game of wits. But from the start of this film, you know you're in for something special, utterly ridiculous, off the walls, and insane. As Eggers does an excellent job of making the audience feel like they're losing their sanity with the characters. Before I give you my final verdict on the 
Lighthouse, guys. Why don't you take a second here and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel if you feel so inclined for more insightful and articulate film discourse and analysis. Simply put, The Lighthouse is pure nautical madness with powerhouse performances from Robert Pattinson and especially Willem Dafoe. Robert Eggers is utterly unchained, penning some of the saltiest Shakespearean dialogue ever put to film and is worthy of a Best Original Screenplay nomination. It's got farts, squids, mermaids, shades of The Shining, and Pattinson assaults a seagull in one of the film's shining moments. The pacing is a bit slow as it's a gradual descent into madness, but believe me when I say that you've never seen a film like this before and need to rush out to your nearest theater and check it out as soon as it's playing near you. So for all of these reasons and the reasons I've mentioned throughout my review, I'm ultimately going to be giving The Lighthouse a nine out of 10. And now I wanna hear from you all. I wanna know what your favorite folk film is. It can be folk horror, it can just be folk in nature. I wanna hear about it down in the comments section below. And if you've seen The Lighthouse, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on that film down there as well. As always, guys, you can like Filmspeak on Facebook, follow us on Twitter simply by searching Filmspeak. And if you like me specifically, and you like what I have to say, you can give me a follow on Twitter. Twitter at Griff Schiller. All right, that's going to do it for this review, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.